we begin with the surge in gun violence in Stockton. Tonight, a Stockton family rem is remembering Edward Wilford, the city's 36th homicide victim this year. This comes after a violent weekend in the city and as community leaders grapple with what to do about the disturbing trend of gun violence in Stockton. Crime scene tape in South Stockton Friday night and another family got the news that no one wants to hear. We was going on social media, Facebook, looking around to see if anybody and a lot of other people was posting it too. Saying rest in peace, Edward. Rest in peace, Edward, on a social media post. And yeah, that's how we found out. These are the cousins of Stockton's 36th homicide victim in 2022, Edward Wilford. He's always like crazy and funny and caring and everything. Yeah, he was just a good person to be around all the time. He was good vibes. Everybody loved Edward. By Sunday morning, Stockton had a 37th homicide victim, a 57-year-old man shot and killed on Oak Street. And the night before, a shooting at a Stockton sick temple left three men injured. Hopelessness, um, anger, frustration. Tony McNeil with Faith in the Valley is calling the outbreak of gun violence an epidemic and a health crisis. We're about to call a meeting, all hands on deck, in order for us to figure out what do we need to do. I will not lose hope on the city, on our youth, on the families. As community leaders grapple with a solution, there's a growing list of victims like Edward Wilford and the families they leave behind. I'm still I'm still going through it because I can't believe that he's really gone. I, I just think to myself all the time, like Edward, like I can't believe he's gone. That's just so sad to me. Going to show that there is no easy cure for the gun crime epidemic in Stockton. And if you have any information on any of the shootings that took place in Stockton over the weekend, Stockton police want to hear from you. You can also leave a tip anonymously by contacting Crime Stoppers.